Hey there, fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're gonna to talk about product line breadth versus product line depth, okay? When you're talking about a product line, what you're talking about is a type of product that companies make. So a company might make a product line of video game systems, right? Or they might have a product line of canned food, right? Or they might have a product line that's on, you know, these wipes, right? You might have it in cleaning products, okay? So there's different types of product lines, different types of products. And when you look at product line breadth versus product line depth, when you're looking at product line breadth, you're looking at how many different types of products do you sell? You have the gaming systems and then you have, and you're starting to spread out, you have the canned food system and then you have the hygiene product you know, line. You have these things out there. So you're expanding your product line breadth when you start to have more different types of products you sell. Now, if we're looking at product line depth, that is looking at selling more of the same product. So I'll use my shirt as an example. So Walter's World, we sell all kinds of t-shirts, but the thing is we have our t-shirt product line, right? So we have the normal little one here, but we also have, hey, if you want an Italy themed t-shirt, hey, we have another Italy themed Walter's World shirt. Ah, oh, but what if you like, you know, the UK? Well, guess what? We have a Britain themed one, right? So we're having more of in that t-shirt product line. We're going deeper by offering more products. And so if we look at these two individually, I want to give you some examples of them. So if we look at product line breadth for, so if you look at Microsoft, you'll see they have a few different types of product lines. You know, you have their, of course you have, you know, you have your Windows, right? That you, uh, Software thing. So they have their software product line, but also they make this Microsoft Surface laptop. So they have their hardware product line, but also they have their console gaming. They have their Xbox, right? So you have the console gaming line. So there's a lot of breadth out there, but why would they do that? Why do companies increase their product line breadth. Well, if you think about it, we want to capture new markets. So when Microsoft came out with the Xbox, they said, hey, there's that whole console gaming market out there that we're not addressing. Let's go after it. Okay. So it can give you that. Also, it can help you increase sales because now we're not just selling, you know, Microsoft Edge. Oh, no one's getting that thing. So let's have some other types of products out there to make some more money. So we're increasing sales by selling the hardware, the software, and the games. Also, what helps is it also helps when you increase your product line breadth, it helps diversify your portfolio. So you're not just selling one product. I mean, if you think about it, you know, if they only had, you know, if a company only has Minecraft, yeah, Minecraft is great, but what happens when Minecraft gets boring? Don't you want to have some other kind of product to sell? And so when we have a different kind of stuff to sell, it helps diversify our portfolio, cuts down on some of our risk. And the thing is, sometimes what you'll see is we increase our product line breadth because there's new possibilities out there. So think about it. How many companies lately have you seen come out with new hygiene products? Maybe they have masks or they have hand sanitizer or they have wipes, right? They're a whole new kind of thing because it's an opportunity for them, okay? So that might be some of the reasons why you actually would expand your product line breadth. But the thing is, sometimes you decrease your product line breadth because you might see that, you know what, maybe they, you know, they come up with a cure for COVID and there's a vaccine and all of a sudden people don't want to wear the masks all the time. So maybe we might eliminate an unprofitable product line. when We see that, look, nobody's buying our panda masks. OK, we'll stop selling that and we're just going to focus on the hand sanitizer and the wipes. Right. And so that's why sometimes what you'll hear is companies will say, we're refocusing our business efforts. We're eliminating, you know, the mask just to focus on the the stuff with the bleach for our for our you know, sanit hand sanitizer and our wipes. OK, so you can see those things. Other things you might see is sometimes companies just want to eliminate old products. They see that, look, it's not really worth it for us anymore to have this. People might still be buying it, but I don't know if we need it anymore. If you look at companies like Sony, you know, eventually they stopped selling VCRs because, you know, maybe people were still buying it, but it really wasn't worth it for us. So we got rid of that overall product line. Now, if we look at that product line depth, when we're selling what I'm trying to sell, more t-shirts, right? I'm like, hey, don't forget, we've got the we've got the British one and we've got the, the Italy one and, you know, we got the this one. We got it all. Why? Why are we trying to sell more of the same thing? Well, if you think about it, you might want to increase it because it gives you more sales opportunities. Some people don't want this one. Some people want to remember, oh, remember when I studied abroad in Italy and I just want to have that Italy memory? Yeah, it could be that. Also, think about it in terms of cereal, Kellogg's. How many different kinds of cereal does Kellogg's have? You've got Kellogg's Fruit Loops, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Kellogg's Apple Jacks, Kellogg's Raisin Bran. You've got all these things out there and they're doing that because they see there's more opportunities out there because you know what? As much as I love Fruit Loops, 
I probably shouldn't be eating any more Fruit Loops. I probably should be doing that, you know, Kellogg's Raisin Bran instead. So that can help them. Also, you might see that there might be a niche product out there, like maybe you have gluten-free Rice Krispies, right? For that niche market of the gluten-free market. Other things you might see is sometimes your competition just demands it. If your competition's selling that, hey, we probably need to sell that as well. So you might match and that happens. And the thing is though, it's very similar when you might want to decrease product lines because you might see, you know what, right now, nobody's really traveling to Italy so maybe we eliminate the, the Italy t-shirt we just have the plain one and, and, and the British one and we just do that because you might see that look sometimes you have unprofitable product like individual products so you might get rid of that you might cut them out because it's not working as well it's not selling as well I mean think about it do you notice you can only get monster cereals during September and October and not all year round because they saw that look it didn't sell all year round let's just sell this focus time because it can be actually better for us and so they adjust their product product line depth by adding the monster cereals during the Halloween season, right? And so that works out. But also sometimes what you might see is companies will eliminate some of their products because it might just be the company's objectives at that time, or they might do the, oh, we wanna refocus our products and our core brands. So we're not gonna have 90,000 different Cokes. We're gonna focus on Coke, Diet Coke, and Coke Zero Sugar. And that's what we're really gonna promote. Yeah, I mean, you can do those things. There is that, but I just want you to get this overall idea. Product line breadth is the different types of products you sell. Product line depth is the number of products of the same kind of thing you sell. All right, so I hope this helps you understand the differences between the two. If you wanna learn more, we got plenty of videos to help you out. And I'll say bye.